in this mechanical sphere. So what we'll be doing here is taking a few very simple shapes that I've made for you in Blender and compositing them in motion to create this, I think, really rather interesting looking effect. So let's get started. So let's first of all check out our project setup, 1920, 1080, 24 frames a second and a duration of 15 seconds. So then let's come over and import our two assets. So these two here, rotor assembly and sphere segment. Bring those in. So these are two base objects that I've made for you in Blender. Very, very simple stuff, but we can have a load of fun with them here in motion. So I'm just gonna drag sphere segment out into its own group, close down the group with the rotor assembly in it. So while we're here, 3D object controls, Let's select unit size custom, and let's set the size to 450. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to make a replicator out of this. So we're going to come to object and replicate. We're going to select circle for the arrangement. We'll choose outline. We'll have 16 points. We'll come down and turn on a line angle. We'll open up this angle menu here and set this X rotation to 90. And now what we need to do is we need to come back to our segment properties and anchor point and the Z anchor point. And we just need to adjust that till those segments are in the right place. So let's go for something like 200, but you can have more or less of a gap as you choose. So then let's actually add a light, switch to 3D. Let's also add a camera. And if we come to our perspective view, you can see there's our sphere. But let's come back to the camera view. So our sphere is actually pointing in the wrong direction. And we can just come to this replicator, come to its rotation and set the X rotation to 90 degrees. And that's all looking a little bit better. So while we're here, let's also add to the Y a parameter behavior ramp and let's set the end value to something like 240. And now it's going to rotate around like this. Just going to turn off those overlays, a little bit annoying. Another thing I want to do is I want to come into this sphere segment, 3D object, and reveal environment lighting. And I just want to turn this environment lighting down. Let's go for something like 50. At the end of the day, we probably might even go quite a bit darker, but let's do that for now. So then let's select our light come to position and zero out the Z, and then click on the position, add parameter behavior, a wriggle. So I'm gonna set this amount to something like 275, the apply mode to add and subtract, the frequency to 0.75, noisiness down to nothing. I'm gonna come back to my light and give it a little bit of color. Doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to duplicate this light, right click duplicate going to change its color, just adjust the hue like that and come back to the behaviors. And let's just click on this random seed a few times. So this light is moving in a different way to the other one. So we're not really seeing much of any interest at the moment. And that's because we want to see our rotor assembly inside the sphere. So let's just turn back on our rotor group. And you'll notice that there's something there, but we can only see through those tiny gaps and we can't see through the material, which however is actually meant to be see-through. So there's a very strange way of making this work. I'm just going to select this group and I'm going to come to filters and it really could be almost any filter. And I'm going to select color just for the sake of it, levels. And immediately you can see that that has made our rotor assembly appear. So let's come over to the rotor assembly. Let's select custom and set the unit size to 450 as well. So now we've got our rotating rotor assembly inside our sphere. And it's all actually working completely as it should. Now I did an earlier version of this tutorial where I tried to stack up more of these layers 
in the hope that we could still keep it 3D. But in actual fact, it only works with this, this one layer like this. And that's why I've had to basically build you this rotor assembly, complete with animation that I've baked in in Blender. So anyway, let's turn back on the replicator. Let's come to the library. Let's come to generators. Let's grab a color solid and drag it in behind everything else into its own group. Let's come over to the inspector, properties. Let's set its Z position to something like negative 750. And let it set its scale to something like a thousand. So it's nice and big. Come to the color. Let's reduce the saturation a little bit. Let's reduce the brightness quite a lot. We just want a hint of something in the background there. And then what we should also do is add filters, stylize and add noise. And this is because with our lighting, we'd be creating banding. So let's switch the type to blue noise and let's set the mix amount to something like seven. And that's just gonna help once it's rendered to avoid banding. So then we can come to our camera. We can, I think, set the angle of view to something like 65, just gives us a slightly more exaggerated perspective. Let's come over to properties and the X rotation, and let's add parameter behavior ramp. Let's start at something like negative 20, and let's end at something like 60. And now we're getting this full 3D effect that actually looks really rather nice. Now, as you know, we added this levels just in order to make the whole thing work. You can see how turning that off disables everything. Instead of this levels, we could probably just use something like glow like this. And that works too. And it's actually quite nice to add actually a little bit of glow in there. We could also, if you've got it, add Hawaii Super Glow and we get a sort of really dramatic effect like that. Really depends on what you want. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I did mention about the environment lighting. So let's come back here and reveal environment lighting again. We reduced it down to 50%, but we could even turn it off completely. And it's all pretty dramatic. Maybe that's just too much, but let's go for something like 10 or something, just so there's a little bit of a hint. And personally, I quite like that. You might prefer it just like this. It's kind of got a interest to it as well. You might prefer it entirely without a glow. Really, it's up to you what you do with it from here on in. But I hope that's given you some interesting thoughts to go away with. It's a pretty nice scene, I think. And, uh, you know, it is genuinely 3D. So thanks very much indeed for watching. And I'll see you again soon.